Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today I'm showing off an app called PowerShade. This app gives you the Android P notification center pretty much on any Android device you can imagine. It works just like the one on Android P. It's really fluid, really snappy, and you have all of the standard toggles that you would have in your regular notification center. You can reorder them and change them up. And as you can see in Android P, it's more rounded off, so all the toggles have circles around them with the pixel blue color. And overall, I really like it. Obviously, you're gonna have to like the way it looks. That's the reason you're gonna wanna download this app, but it is free. Now, in terms of holding down on icons, it will jump into the actual full menu. So if you hold down on Bluetooth, it will go to your Bluetooth menu. If you hold down on Wi-Fi, it goes to your Wi-Fi menu. However, just like on Android P, if you actually click below, it doesn't open the quick menu anymore. So you can't select your Wi-Fi network from the notification center. It would actually be pretty cool for the developer to put the quick menu in here, even though the actual Android P one doesn't, it would actually give this an advantage over the Android P one. So I would highly recommend doing that or even giving just the option to do that. Maybe there should be like a quick toggle switch. That will be awesome. You can actually turn on the new Android P font as well. So all your notifications will have that new Google Sans font and it looks absolutely great. But in terms of actually pulling down a notification bar, you can't actually pull it down from the top which is a big deal breaker, I guess, in a way, uh, but it's only for people on Oreo. So if you're below Oreo, you'll be able to pull down from the top like usual, but on Oreo, you'll have to either set up a Nova gesture to pull it down, or you have a little tab at the side of the screen, which you'll need to pull out. Now, if you're running Nova, all you need to do is go into your gestures and your swipe down gesture, go into shortcuts, activities, and simply select the app in the activity section, and it will automatically pull down the menu. In terms of functionality, you do have the snooze button, so you can snooze up to two hours for your notifications, and it works pretty much the same as Android P1 does. Uh, pretty familiar there. Now, in terms of actually jumping right into the app, there's actually quite a bit of customization you can do. So first of all, you can customize where the trigger is, so wherever you pull on the screen is gonna pull the notification bar down. You can move that around, change the color, change the opacity, and then you also get some options in terms of what color you want the actual notification center to be. So you can make it a dark theme, light, red, blue, any color you want is cool in the dark theme. And you also get an option to customize how the notifications look so they can be dark, light, or colored. You get a few layout options. So if you buy the pro version, you can change the grid and how many rows it has and stuff like that. You can change the positioning of the brightness slider, whether it shows when you first pull down or your second pull down. Uh, etc stuff like that there is a lot of customization options you can choose for it to not be available in full screen mode and at the bottom like i said you can toggle that new google sans font anyway guys that's pretty much it it's the android p notification center there's not much else to say about it it looks like the android p1 it works like the android p1 and it is free so definitely go check it out i hope you enjoyed my short video but don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and thank you so much for watching so peace out guys